So, how do you get Project M on your Super Smash Bros. Brawl? Well, first of all, you have to go to this site. Project M, so it's projectm.smashmods.com slash downloads.php. I will definitely have it in the video description. So, what I'm guessing most of you have is an unhacked Wii like me. But if you do have it hacked, then that's perfectly okay. Uh, there's multiple different downloads you can get for zip files for the homebrew um, homebrewed Wii um, stuff like that. So you go to this site. You simply all you need to have is a Super Smash Bros. Brawl and an SD card with memory on it. Obviously, uh, you want to go ahead and download. Actually, the probably the easiest way is to download the demo installer. So you're going to go ahead and download that. Then it to download. And it actually gives you this little little guy up here. I can't really tell on this camera, but it looks like this. It kind of looks pixely, but you go ahead and open it, and you go ahead and hit run. Then it opens up, and you just say, oh, I agree, I'm not going to steal your stuff. And then you select, come on, come on, can't really tell, but it says homebrew option, and then hackless we at the bottom, which is what I have. And this is Revolution. I don't even know what that is. It's probably some sort of, uh hacked uh, Wii thing. And then you go ahead and hit next. And then you select the folder. You're going to go ahead and hit browse. Sorry, this is so bad. This camera is awful. You hit browse and your computer will take forever. And then you go ahead and hit your um, SD card. The biggest thing is actually you don't want any memory of Brawl or actually anything altogether on your Wii on your um, SD card, which is why I made this mistake is because I had actually data on it. So I actually had to make a separate folder. Uh, it's actually the private folder. But you go down, oh, it actually got rid of it. So you should have a folder on your SD card if you already use your Wii called the private folder. You actually take that private folder off and put it on your computer for now in case you want it later, which is I, which I do because of my, um, my saves on it. And then you go ahead and you click on your extra premature SD card and you just hit OK. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. And then you hit install, and it automatically adds it to your memory card, which is extremely simple. I'm sure you want to quit. Um, yes, I'm very sure I do. Um, so you, it adds it to your memory card, and you're actually done with that. So you go ahead and take out your memory card, if I can. Done. And then you put it into your Wii. Make sure you have Brawlin'. Obviously, I do. And then you go up to Brawl on the top left, hit Start. And this is pretty, very important, as the website says. You do not want any data of um, custom stages on your Wii or on your SD card. But obviously you want everything Wii related off your SD card. Um, we go ahead and use the GameCube controller because you can. And then it loads. Do, do, do. Very long loading screen. And then I'll let you watch this beginning because it gets very bright. Ooh. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. And then we actually go down to the vault. And we go to stage builder. We hit A and watch what happens here. This is where the magic happens. What, what What's going on? The screen kind of goes crazy, but it's okay. Don't freak out. That's actually what's supposed to happen. And then the screen comes up. Melee 2.0. Uh, you can go to configuration options, but you actually don't have to touch that. You can actually only use the, uh, the D-pad at this point. Um, and then you hit A on launch game. It's setting up the drive. takes a couple seconds. Last time mine actually failed last time. Oh, and there we go. We have Project Demo. You can go to that site, which is the same site I told you at the beginning. Captain Falcon, you actually do have to hit A. I last time made that mistake. Same website right there. Loads, and actually it's a lot quicker to load. And look at the little minor difference. Did you see it? It just said um, Project M. Everything else is the same, and then the menu is a tad bit different. Um, 
versus versus solo, and then play online. Everything here is the exact same. Um, Vault, and it kind of, it's kind of funny if you go back to the stage builder, it does the same thing all over again. Same game. Um, versus, then you actually can do fight. It defaults by putting it to stock four and um, more rules to uh, eight minutes for any game type. No matter what you do, it's going to be eight minutes. So you want to go into more rules and make it unlimited. If you're like me and my cousin, we like it to have it unlimited and at ten stock. And as you can see, the characters are the same. Actually, there's one character that has been added that you do have in the game, but you actually can select her at the beginning. Um, Sheik, which is right next to Zelda. But for some reason, this is a very random beginning character list. Um, hopefully you can get them more characters throughout playing single player, which is probably what I'm going to be doing after this video. And some of the minor, minor different uh, changes I could, will definitely have in another video, but I just wanted to emphasize on the setup on this, and that's about it. So have fun. You can play online. Uh, you actually do have some of the... You still have the changes that your character has when you play online. I'm not too sure if anybody else sees it or if they just start to glitch, but it's awesome. Go ahead and have fun. It's the same game except add features, and some people, pretty much what the game is, is making everybody equal. So everybody's, because for some reason in Brawl they made some characters better than others, but they wanted to make that equal with this mod. So go ahead and enjoy. Bye-bye.